Well, chums, I actually caught the legendary child of Helios. Brilliant! Its song resonates across time and space, calling to its home the endless black above. One day it will rise and return to its home among the stars. I caught this during a storm, and I caught it at, um, well, let's see the depth. Boom. 71 U's. Brilliant, eh? I guess. One, one left remaining, and it's, it's actually a storm fish. And I'm still using this bait rather than swapping out to the other. And it is another colossal sort of fish that I need to catch. I mean, the Child of Helios was large. But the other one that I need to catch is like a squid. I can't remember the name of it now. That's not it, though. That's not it. So why well, I'm just casting back in. Let's see if we can get it. Come on. Bum, bum, bum. The one that I need is under colossal. It's called the Void Squid. That's the one that's eluding me so far. The storm's clearing, so if this isn't it, then I'm probably not going to be getting it during this storm cycle. Come on! Be it! It's not it. Dang it! Well, how do the chums? Just one fish last to catch. Now, I kept thinking it was a storm fish. It's not. It's just a fish that's been... You have to catch it at night time, this squid-type looking creature. So it's night time right now. And I'm fishing for it using the shadow bait law. Let's see if we can get it. So here we go. Now it's the void squid that I'm after. You can see that it's got a, a logo of a moon, which means night time. So the void squid, there it is in large. Hopefully I'm going to get it. Now it's a rare fish and it's colossal in size. Okay, so we're fishing at 70 U's deep because you're more likely to find colossal fish at 70 U's deep. I'm using the night orb because it's a night fish and I'm fishing at night time. Hopefully this, this is all the requirements to get it. Okay, now if I don't get it, what I'm going to do is wait till night time circles around again and I'll try using the bionic law opposed to the shadow law and we'll see if that makes any difference. Okay, I can hear all of my solar panels coming into life. And you can see here, I just caught a small fish, right, at 70 U's. You can still catch small fish at 70 U's. Now, if you go into the actual catalogue, I mean, I've got a little bit of time to spare, so I might as well explain something and show something. If I go into fish and records, and if I choose, say, like something that's large, it's not, they don't, it doesn't say it on every single one. But the majority of them... The larger ones do. So here we go. This one says typically found in the deepest of waters. Hold on, let me just get off the screen so you can see that a little bit better. Typically found in the deepest of waters, this one here. And carry on going. Typically found in deeper water, this rare catch, and it's a large fish. And the, the, the really big ones, the colossals, usually says the deepest of water. And there we go. There we go. The small in shallower water. And this one here. This is a colossal, typically found in the deepest waters. Okay, so I think it gives you an indication of exactly what, you, what you're trying to do. Most of the colossal fish are found in the deepest of water. Not all, but most. So it actually tells you roughly where you need to go to catch these. The only thing is, it only gives you that information once you've properly caught the dang fish. I mean, you do get a bit of a write-up on these ones that are greyed out. So there we go. That one I think is greyed out. Yeah, it's greyed out. But that one is found in shallower water, in a radiator water at that. OK, so it does give you an indication. A lot of people are saying, well, I'm catching them at any depth. Yeah, you still will catch them at any depth, but you've got a higher chance if you go to the deeper water or the shallower water, depending on what the fish is, you know. So I've got to wait till nighttime rolls around again. But there we go. Just a little bit of fishing insight. Okay, another little bit of fishing insight is when you cast into, say, shallow water like here, which is like zero use apparently, you're going to see little sort of like um, holograms appearing of the fish. And you're more likely to see a small and medium sized hologram. So there you go, look, there's a small hologram right now. So that indicates that small fish are more regular at a lower depth. Okay, got it. Whereas if you go inside, inside of here and if i go over to my 70 use hole right now and cast into there 
I mean, you're probably going to struggle to see the holograms because the waves are chucking all over the place right now. But when the holograms arrive, you're going to see that they're going to be either large or they're going to be colossal. I mean, look at the size of that hologram. Now, so that's an indication that you're going to find bigger fish the deeper you go. And there we go. I just captured a large. OK, now I have got a hole over here, which is at 55 views. Now here you're going to see a pretty much an assortment of holograms. You're going to see small, medium, large and the occasional colossal. Not as often are you going to see colossal, but you are going to see quite an array of different sizes. Oh, hold on. That looks, that looks like it could be colossal or it could be large. So there's four different types of size of hologram. I mean, it's hard to tell the difference between large and colossal because the large one is pretty darn big anyway, and the colossal is just slightly chunkier. But there you go, that was colossal. Done. And I am in a storm right now, as you can see, it's going to be friggin' mental. But yeah, I've got to wait till night time rolls around. But yeah, another little insight into fishing at depth. Right, well, it's coming up to 5 of the PMs. So as soon as that happens, it's going to be the night time. And I, this time, I'm going to be using the uh, bionic lure when it turns to night. And hopefully we'll have better luck in catching the fish than I'm after. So it's colossal in size, so I'm fishing at 70 depth. And it also appears at night. So I think that's going to increase my chances. I tried the Shadow Law night one. No luck. I will try the Bionic Law night two. And then maybe go back to the Shadow Law night three and see if we get lucky third time lucky, you know. But hopefully we get it this time. One other little tip. If you watch your solar panels, you know roughly when night time has actually officially started because they will close down. So it normally happens around 6 of the PMs. We'll see if it starts happening now. We go 6 of the PMs? Hmm, actually, no. OK, interesting. Got to go. Oh, actually, I think I'm getting a little bit confused. I think it's when it gets to 20 hundred hours. So I don't think it's going to happen for a little bit yet. Eight o'clock. It's going to roll round to seven of the PMs in a second. I don't think it's going to happen then. I think it is 8 p.m. that it starts. Oh, there you go. Seven o'clock. I don't know whether it varies from planet to planet because I'm sure it's done it at six o'clock on some planets. But there we go. Anyway, let's head on over here. I haven't really taken much interest, to be fair. Oh, wrong hole. It's this one over here. Story of my life. OK, here we go. Slap a jack. Let's just check the depth. 71 use. Night time. I'm using the bionic bait law. Sweet. Let's see if we get lucky now, people, shall we? Let's just let's do the first catch together. Oh, it's quite a large hologram. That looks like large, not colossal, though. Colossal looks a little bit chunkier than that one. That looks quite thin and narrow. Or it could be. Oh, I think it's large. I think that's large. There you go, large. Yeah, OK. T typically found in deeper water, though. You see what it says there? Deeper water. And the colossals will say in the deepest of water. You know. Now, something to make note of is some planets go to about 110 U's in depth. This was the deepest I could find on this planet. It might not be the deepest on this planet, but that's the deepest I could find. And I checked a couple of relic sites and that was about the deepest I could find. OK, cool. Night. We're still getting the night fish, even though we're not using the... Um, the law, the shadow law. But now a storm has rolled in on top of it being night. So sometimes I might catch stormfish, sometimes I might catch night fish, and it's a it's more of a free-for-all. That looks like a large as well. Yeah, large. You, you start to get a sight, a little bit of a an is it gonna be large, is it gonna be colossal? Now you can actually press L2 and, and bring your rod back in without catching it if you see the wrong size hologram. You are still going to lose your bait, though. So I'd rather catch a fish than not, you know? I know it takes a little bit more time and I could recast and the chance of me catching the fish I do want goes up a bit. That's another large, for example. Um, that's not a colossal. It's, it's too narrow. It's not quite big enough. Yeah. It, it, you get a sense for the size of the holograms. I know it's a little bit sad, but I've been doing this for a long time now. Oh, that's, a, that's medium. Medium sized. So you could tell that the hologram wasn't colossal. Colossal is large, like a large, but then chunkier, slightly wider. OK, this one looks like it might be a colossal. If it's not colossal, it's large. Okay, That looks that looks pretty darn freaking big. 
you know here we go let's have a look see come on and it also takes longer to reel in i think that's colossal it's colossal and it's legendary <laughs> it's not what i wanted though <laughs> Okay, so right now the storm is clearing. So that means the stormfish should be knocked out of the equation. I've caught two stormfish during the storm. Now, to knock out the the legendaries from being caught, I could go back to the shadow law. But the shadow law, I catch a far more common sized fish on that because the rarity rate isn't very high on the shadow law. Now, there is one more bait that I could try using that's created by using the fish. I think it might be a sorted row. I'm not 100% sure. I'd have to go through them and have a look. But one of them gives nocturnal chance and also rarity chance. That looks like a fat fish on there right now. That looks like it's colossal. It was colossal. You see, I, I, I know the holograms now, you know. And, well, nine times out of ten. I mean, that medium, I mistaked it for a large. But you know, there we are. I just caught a moon turtle, which is actually medium, but it's night. So... I am catching you know, the A-class fish, which this is, but it needs to be colossal. Okay. Chums! Chums, chums, chums! We got him! We freaking got him! So you see here, typically found in the deepest of water. This is extremely rare catch. Now, this is at 70 U's. And like I said, some planets go up to 110 that I've seen. There's, there may even be deeper. So I probably would have caught this a lot quicker if I could have gone even deeper than the 70 U's. But that's the deepest I could find. So I'm right on the fringe here. Because in between 70 and that 110, 120 is where you're going to get your Colossals. Now, I'm at 71 U's. So I think if I could get up to 80 or 90, this would have happened a lot sooner. But there we go, people. I've caught the Void Squid. We've also caught the Child of Helios, which is freaking great. So if I just go into here now... Yep, going to catalogue, wonders, and go to fish and records. I've now completed, I believe, all the exotic fish. So let's get to the exotic page. Is this them? Sunspot eel, I'm not 100% sure. There, there's the void squid. There's the abyssal horror, which is a legendary. Yeah, we got them all on there. Lovely jobs. Not too sure how I go about catching these. Because I'm not too sure what biomes they're all on. But anyway... We've now got them all. We've got all the exotic fish, all caught them and catered. You can see here that, for example, that one is small, yeah? That one says small and it says shallower waters, okay? So let's go through them. Yeah, shallower waters and it's small, okay? Are you gonna see a pattern here? So there you go, small, shallower water. There's small and shallower water. That one is medium sized and it doesn't actually say the depth. Medium fish you can find pretty much at every depth, but once you go past the 70 U's, the medium fish go down. They're quite rare, okay? So you got here, and um, that one, oh, caught in, yeah, that's, a, that's another medium fish, see? We've got large fish, deep water. It just says deep water, not deeper water. It just says deep water for large. There you go. That one's colossal, deepest of water, okay? Going over here, typically found in shallower water, shallower water, and again, these are both small. This one is medium sized, doesn't say the depth. Okay, you're just going to find it pretty much at every depth. Okay, cool. We've got this one, the medium sized. There you go, doesn't say the depth. It was only a surface at night. This one's large, deeper water. Okay, so that's deeper water, but not deepest water. You've got deepest of water there for a colossal. You see the actual variance in the language. Okay, so the deeper you go, the more larger the fish you're going to get by their actual size on the screen. That one says colossal, see? Okay, so the reason why I'm trying to drive this home is over on um, Twitter. Uh, I, I can't remember the name of the person, and also I don't really want to name and shame, but they've been having a little mini argument with me saying, the depth makes no difference, Captain. The depth makes no difference. Well, you see there, it's says small, it says shallower water. It's in the game, mate. It's, it's actually telling you in the freaking game. Okay, so it, it's... And the reason why I'm getting a little bit sort of trying to drive this home, that you are going to find the colossal fish in the deepest of water, like it says on the screen right now in black and white, clear as platinum crystal, is 
the people that are reading that twit, the, 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 the Twitter feed, they're going, oh, this guy's saying it's just completely random. So I might as well just continue fishing in this puddle and eventually I'll catch all the colossal fish. You might, you might find the odd colossal fish in a puddle. It might happen. But you're going to have better chances if you go to the deepest of water to catch your colossal fish. And it's freaking obvious that that's the case because you see the difference in variance in size of the holograms that appear on your freaking screen. Oh, it just infuriates me, people. You try to make guides and then people come up with all sorts of weird nonsense that they've just made up. And you're like, well, well, that just undoes everything I've freaking done. You know, spent hours fishing. I've completed what? This is my fourth biome now completed. And it's just a little bit... Well, I, 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 by this point, I kind of have a good idea of what depth to fish at, what bait to use. And I think the proof's in the pudding. You know, it does take me a good to do a biome to completely do a biome it takes me roughly about four hours four hours on a planet to do a biome fully to catch every single freaking fish and then there might be one or two that i give up on one day i have a couple of cups of tea i've just finished a cup of tea and then i come back to and i catch it like the void squid but I don't move on to the next biome until i'm done and now i'm done i can move on to the next biome i'm actually super really happy Right, so we've now caught all those fish. Now what I didn't do with my lush fish is screw all some away that I wanted to keep, which I'm, I'm actually, I, I pretended that I wasn't too gutted about doing that, but I, I am a little bit. Right, so here we go, let's go to here. And let's start putting in all of these, the ones I want to keep, all the yellows. In you go. Lovely, I, I might even keep that giant squid, the void squid. I'm going to keep it because it mentions the void and you know how much I like the void. That's going in there as well. So anything that I think oh, is quite quite cool, it's like I like the look of that one, the sunspot eel. If we do get to put them inside of our aquariums, I would like that in my aquarium. So in it goes. I kind of like the blue jellyfish, I mean the starfish. I haven't got many starfish in there right now, so I'm going to stick that in there too. And I, is there anything else I want to keep in there? I don't think so. All these other ones I can get shot of, I think. I think I've got the ones that I like. Uh, the one-eyed one's quite cool. The all-seeing worm. He can go in there too. Now, there might be a time where I've filled all this up with my legendaries and I might want to sack a couple off. And if I do want to sack a few off, you know, the all-seeing eel might go, you know. But at the moment, I quite like him. And it's like this one. I mean, yeah, it's quite cool as well, isn't he? The giant witch fin. Maybe I should stick one of them in too. Because at the moment, I haven't got no high or sail fin fish in there. Yeah, that'd do me. That'd do me from this catch. All right. Sweet. Well, that's this base. That's this biome. Done, dilly, and done. This is an exotic planet. I've already given the coordinates out in the previous video. But just in case you didn't see the previous video, uh, I'll give you the coordinates again. Let's just try and get them on a dark tile. There we go. And I'll zoom in. I'll make that as big as possible that I can from you. Now, if you have learned something from this video, or if you do want to come here and use this base, if you could subscribe to the channel, that'd be greatly appreciated. It's a good way of doing kind back to kind. Okay. Anyway, people, I think that's pretty much everything that I've got for you this episode. I, I guess I'm going to be putting these advanced fishing tips at depth. Yeah, I'm just talking about depth a little bit more. Till next time, people. Salute to Monday. Goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again.